We'll try to get a, a bit closer uh, to the a solution of uh, all the problems uh, of humankind through the design in next uh, hour and a half. Uh, this, uh, for me, is great pleasure since I've been stuck for one hour this morning in the elevator. So this is kind of plus of life for me. Uh, and uh, we'll get to that story later. First, uh, I think maybe the uh, most appropriate thing is uh, uh, for each uh, of my, uh, our guests uh, uh, present uh, themselves just briefly, but through presentation, of course. Uh, first is Sonia, and the floor is yours. Okay, I'll bring it to you. I was between second and a third floor. <coughs> well, thank you so much. Um, I'm Sonia. I represent Polis University and Tirana Design Week from Albania, Tirana. I will briefly uh, also introduce you about Tirana Design Week and the projects that we do. But firstly, I want to start um, with a brief introduction of myself and the field that I uh, am part of. Uh, I was born and raised in Tirana uh, for many years, lived there, and then decided with my family to move, uh, to move in uh, US, in Michigan, where I conducted my studies in media arts and communication. And um, when I came back in Tirana, decided to move back in Tirana, I found this uh, huge gap of uh, issues concerning the uh, methodologies that universities applied in teaching design and the actual uh, design industry that um, exists in Tirana. Um, also, you may know, or if you're not aware, uh, Albania had many turmoils going through the 90s and afterwards. So I think the whole focus wasn't design, but especially politics, economics, and many other fields. So when I came back, I found, um, and I was interested at Polis University as a private university, which held the Department of Architecture and Planning, Urban Planning. Uh, they didn't have yet a design uh, department, but um, after gathering up some really good people, <laughs> and experts in the design field, they decided to aim and open a program focused on design. So here my, let's say, begins my, my story associated also with Tirana Design Week. Uh, when we had our first students, it was a little bit of a shock for me because I was used to this whole other um, methods and um, experiences back in the US of uh, conducting design and uh, expressing yourself by design. We were very freely students in applying our design approaches. And in Tirana it was this um, field that wasn't so, was so unknown and was only known through graphic design or the advertisement part of the, the design. So we had uh, in front of us like a big challenge to overcome these obstacles of this huge gap that existed between the field of design, theory and practices. Um, after a few years working at Polis University with the curriculums of design and so on and so forth, uh, we decided first of all to aim and create a brand, if I might say it, um, associated with architecture and planning. So at first we aimed to create Tirana Architecture Weeks, which is a platform that uh, is established by um, different events, workshops, speakers, talking about issues in architecture and planning, and afterwards we focused on um, design. So back in 2013, for the first time, we had uh, the first Tirana Design Week, which was um, an experiment for us because we didn't know, I mean, we, we knew the aim where we wanted to go with design, but the expectation of the general public was um, at first very low. 
So uh, the first uh, Tirana Design Week focused in general issues of design, thus to introduce uh, the general public and our students to, uh, to different medias um, that uh, engage design in that. And uh, after succeeding in uh, making also a brand for Tirana Design Week, uh, last year we had uh, the second edition of uh, Tirana Design Week. And the um, focus was on the topic of design now. So where did Albania stand with the issues of design and um, all the uh, regions around? So what, what we did is um, we, we didn't want to exclude the other uh, departments. So we aimed to incorporate also uh, students from the architecture, planning and design in different workshops. Because personally, I think that design is everywhere and involves every aspect of our life. So um, yeah, we did this collaboration with the two other departments. And the topic, as I said, was in uh, Tirana uh, and Design Now, the, the general topic. Uh, the event was um, taking part in two whole weeks during September, because we think that it's the um, most appropriate uh, period of time to, to host the event, because all of the upcoming and new students come to our university, so they can have the chance to be uh, in more uh, personal and direct contact with the event. Um, during these two weeks, what, uh, what we do usually is uh, we conduct workshops that last three days or two weeks, depending on the, um, on the load that we decide um, to, to give to a workshop. And also we, all, uh, we also invite um, foreign or, and also Albanian uh, speakers to speak about uh, and talk about design issues. One thing that happened with the first edition of uh, Tirana Design Week was the fact that um, because of lack of funding and the first experience in the design field, uh, we decided to conduct the whole event at Polis University. Uh, some of you may have visited our university, um, but in general it's far away from the city center and due to all the uh, problems that we had in, in our city, it wasn't responding or it wasn't um, um, yeah, responding very, very good with the general public that we want to transmit um, our ideas. So, um, yeah, for the second event we decided to aim for the city center. Uh, this meant that we had to make a lot of deals with different companies, venues, other um, contributors to, to expand uh, our aim. And as I said, um, part of the event takes place with uh, open forums, which discuss um, general issues, theoretical or not, of design. And uh, for the second uh, event, we had um, five keynote speakers. Because most of the funding the second, for the second event came from the Italian uh, Institute of Culture, um, we had this agreement to invite um, Italian designers or Italian professionals in the design field. Also through our connection uh, from Michigan and Detroit and many other universities, UCLA back in Los Angeles, we decided also to have Neil Denari, a very well-known architect, and Jason Payne, archi architect and landscape, uh, which also deal with, uh, with the design landscape um, approaches. So, um, yeah, we had five keynote speakers. Another um, issue and um, aim that uh, we had was interacting in abandoned places in Tirana. And uh, one of the most um, well-known places also when people visit is the uh, pyramid, as we call it, as the um, ex-museum of our dictator. So for now, it doesn't have any function or anything. So uh, we thought of incorporating um, our events also with an exhibition and making the place more um, livable for a few hours. Another aspect that we intervene, that's why in the beginning I, I introduced designers 
as the whole part of uh, our daily life, was also about urban proper actions that we have and uh, how we can impact through performances on the uh, public places in Tirana. And this is one of the examples. Uh, yeah, so uh, for as regarding for the workshops, we have six main workshops, which were led by foreign uh, experts and designers, and also um, accompanied by Albanian uh, tutors to, to tutor the students. And um, yeah, uh, every workshop, uh, as I said, as, an, as I explained, was. Uh, expanded in the, these two whole weeks of Tirana Design Week and uh, tackled different issues as uh, you can see in the screen from sustainable food to um, idea to visualization to fashion design to product design thus we created a platform that could uh, tackle at least every um, theme that we decided to focus and um, every workshop at the end is um, always uh, conducted by an exhibition of the works of the students and also is, uh, every, every workshop is open to the public and also to visit or to take part in or to, to um, uh, take a look at the exhibition works of the students. Um, the results and our um, collaborations with the Institute of Italian Culture and the Municipality of Tirana allowed us to be more um, in the public, public realm. Um, it means that we wanted to, uh, to tackle, uh, tackle also the um, people that do not experience or feel or um, investigate or practice design, so the general public. These for the main issues that we wanted to fill the gap uh, that is uh, mixing, uh, missing uh, through the academic structure, the public, and the, the students. So uh, these are some of the results of the workshop and the different different theme. Uh, we aimed to to focus um, from fine arts projects to very industrial projects and to, to food. <laughs> yeah, food is good. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> well, while talking about uh, urban provo actions, uh, here are some examples of students uh, tackling the main roads or um, points of the city to be uh, more aware of. Uh, we also aimed to introduce uh, videos, uh, also um, exploring the process of doing design. Like, um, the final product, product might be very nice to look at and to experience, but the thing that students, then, then the pe uh, general public needs to be aware of is the process that how design uh, is done. So yeah, these were the locations back in Tirana. Uh, and uh, as international uh, exhibitions, we also had three, uh, focusing in the Albanian design now, thus what is the theme and where is Albania with the theme of design. We had for the second time the Young Balkan Designers exhibition coming at uh, Math Center at Polis University which I must say is a total different thing from um, what we Albanian, let's say, are used to, to produce. So this is a good exchange in practice and also in knowledge uh, in regional scale to, for, us, for our students to take a look and see where design is, uh, is aiming. And also we had the third exhibition from a US artist, uh, Mending Gold which um, interacted with lost architecture or unused architecture and the um, field of fine arts and with small um, interactions in, in the city. 
some of our main partners and um, how we deal with funding. Um, most of the funding comes from our university, so this is a big plus to have uh, a backup to, to uh, come up with projects and um, engage you in projects. But also uh, every year uh, we aim in involving different entities, um, local entities, um, political like ministries um, associated with um, with um, culture and arts, but also small businesses uh, which aim to be different and uh, which experience uh, the theme of design differently. Uh, another way of um, experiencing design was also Pecha Kucha, which was uh, for the first time we, we heard at Mixer festivals, uh, Festival back in Belgrade. So it was a very interesting approach on how to present 20 slides um, very quickly for um, 20 seconds. And, um, no, not 20 seconds. <laughs> um, so this was another approach that uh, made us more flexible and more uh, down to earth, let's say, with uh, facing the students and the field that um, we try to teach and experience. So we had two of those. Um, and uh, talking about different issues um, of the um, public perception of public spaces, design uh, objects that make up the public spaces, and so on and so forth. Um, another platform uh, or another component of our pa platform in uh, design is um, also the, um, the, the projects or let's say um, competitions that we aim to, to put out there for students or also for outsider, outsiders which want to come and be part of. And one of uh, the um, projects that we aimed was the design catalyst for uh, the Mother Teresa Square in the city center of Tirana. The square is an empty square which doesn't have any function rather than um, being empty and for traffic users of people using cars non-stop. So we thought that by um, mixing the three um, departments of architecture, planning and design, make like a broader platform to attract more ideas. And um, some of the ideas, so this is the square, some of the ideas, this is the first um, uh, prize that was won. Um, I must say that we also had international um, students taking part in this event. Was the the tree of um, of expression, as I remember, uh, where the idea was to install uh, a fake tree with wishes um, that people wanted to to, to make or uh, to aim towards the function of the the public space. To other. Um, design project were um, introducing a movable uh, project for um, uh, let's say a movable theater for the Mother Teresa Square during the, the summer season and another one uh, which also aimed to, to make um, to create different functions. So uh, two of um, the main supporters are always the Minister of Culture that I must say we're lucky to have this kind of collaboration, also because it's a new thing happening in Tirana, so at least they're still engaged in participating. We'll see afterwards. And the um, municipality of Tirana. One other um, collaborator this year that will extend um, and will, we will come up with a new theme of Tirana Design Week is also the platform of Future Archite Architecture, uh, which is a project financed by EU, uh, Creative Europe, and uh, which aims to, to involve, uh, okay, to involve uh, different countries, so Albania, Italy, um, Slovenia, many other countries are part of this. So the only aim is uh, attract projects and ideas regarding to architecture planning and design. And afterwards we will have the exchange of uh, speakers, of projects, 
to be um, um, movable through, through Europe to exchange um, ideas. Um, another, another achievement for us, and I will end it here, was also taking part in the um, Biennale of Venice in 2016. For the first time, Albania had the chance to take part. And our university and both the platforms of Tirana Design Week and Tirana Architecture Week contributed with the um, overall idea of design, architecture and planning happening in Tirana. So, um, from what I said in the beginning, the, the actual um, state that I found Tirana, the, the public, uh, related to the knowledge about design, architecture and planning and where we, where we aimed and we came, it's a very big, let's say, achievement and jump. Um, our aim is uh, for the next Tirana Design Week is uh, to, to have future collaboration uh, and this also this presentation is, uh, I must say, is uh, un a collaboration itself which uh, allow us to, to uh, introduce what we are doing and why not uh, once we, we have our new ideas about what the theme of Tirana Design Week for this year is going to be, uh, you are all welcome to, to contact and to exchange for exhibitions, participation, events, um, yeah. So thank you so much. Yes. I made some notes. Uh, now, Borut. <laughs> Thank you, Danis. Uh, I'm Borut, with graphic designer, uh, professor, educator, father, husband, you know, all this stuff. Uh, I'll be really short because I think Isidora's uh, project he's going to talk about is uh, much more interesting, but let's go briefly uh, through this short presentation about uh, our conference. We organized it in Belgrade from 2011 to the four years uh, on. Um, it was called Designer Author of Universal Soldier. Shall I? Oh, yeah, I can do it like this. And it all started with an exhibition by Milton Glaser, offered to us by Mirko Illich from New York. Uh, called Drawing is Thinking, and that's why the, the, the uh, title of the first conference was a kind of reflection on, on our job. Are we authors? Are we simply servants of, of uh, a neoliberal economy? What's our position? We started like this, and uh, we organized it in a month and a half, I think. Very quickly, uh, Maya obtained us um, a beautiful empty, abandoned uh, department store in the center of Belgrade. Uh, we put on exhibitions, sent out the, the invitations to all our friends and colleagues in, in the region, and wait. Uh, of course, response was for us really, 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 really tremendous. Uh, this, was, this is the Belgrade railway station, and this is the battalion of, of, of Croatian students, uh, commanded by at that time, young assistant Luca, Luca Borcic, look at, look at this. <laughs> it was showing them. Uh, <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And Petra is, is here. So uh, um, we started very modestly. Mirko introduced our first guest, Stephen Heller, because Mirko said Stephen has never been in, in, in this part of the world. He would like to come. We organized a series of lectures apart from Stephen, uh, also a lot of uh, uh, guys from, from, the, from the region, and it was ice cold. It was really, 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 really so cold. There was an ice storm. Yeah, day. yeah, but very emotional, because it, it, this was the first time that a lot of students and also educators and professionals from the region gathered together for the first, for the first, for the first time. Um, young Kristofic there. <laughs> Dejan and all. Young Kršić. Young Kršić, younger Kršić. 
and of course we all, uh, started with workshops from the from the from the first conference. This is also young even in Verkash now in Australia, uh, wearing a T-shirt. I love Belgrade. I love Zagreb. Um, workshop from by by Dayan Hajikavilovic from Sarajevo. And of course, with, with the help of, of, of uh, uh, volunteers, we did the first conference. And then I said, okay, that's it. We've done it. Uh, but at the end, everybody said, okay, see you next year. I never, I never planned, uh, we never planned actually, I, I was probably the only one, I never planned another conference. And <clears throat> uh, next year, when we were really preparing the next one, everybody said, I said, let's find a new name, uh, let's invent uh, a, new, a new title, and everybody said, no, it's a soldier, it's called soldier, and from that time on, we are all calling this conference soldier. Uh, and we continue to, to, to deal with this military uh, uh, language, military terms, um, and actually it's nothing special, it's a, it's a normal conference uh, made by few exhibitions, some keynote speakers, some movie, lectures, workshops, and of course evening events, which Belgrade is famous, is, is famous of. Second one was Historiske uh, Bitke, uh, or historical battles, we were dealing with the history, because we noticed that, of course, after that 10 years of, of, of war in, in uh, our ex-country, we actually know very little about each other, and uh, Dejan Kršić from Zagreb, Žiga Tesejan from Slovenia, and me were uh, opening every day of the conference with the small lectures on, on design history in uh, Croatia, Slovenia, and Serbia. Uh, Penguin Books as the main exhibition, exhibition by, by Pera, Pera Talent on, on uh, uh, also socialist uh, objects. Ex exhibition on uh, graphic design in Croatia. Um, Dario was the main guy for this exhibition. And of course, one of the, the, the best lectures ever in Vojnik, uh, lecture by Nikola, Nikola Jurek uh, from Zagreb. And the uh, first partic particip participative exhibition called Menjaja Exchange, where we were exchanging each, each other works uh, in one hour uh, of exhibition. Third year was called Action, uh, visual identity by group, our friends from group Schart, uh, the exhibition Design of the Descent uh, on the streets of Belgrade, and of course, immediate reaction uh, of conservative or uh, society on the streets. Uh, the biggest applause of all, of, of all conferences went to Mihar Tnag from Slovenia for his Fabulous video dealing with his uh, he uh, his his age he started he he he, he was thirty at that time. Uh, uh, workshops were bigger, 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 and bigger, and of course the, it became one of the main main topics of, of, of our conference. They were all held in uh, our faculty. It looks like it looked like. And because yeah. we had like 120 <coughs> students attending the workshop. Yeah, at, uh, yeah, about 120 at, at the time. Each time. Each time. Also in studio, exchange of that year. The last one was called Obuka or Drill, uh, identity by, by Viral Identity by Sidora. Uh, we started with quiz that time. Th this year, this is the jury. Mia and Isidore and me, only three organizers of the conference and, and a bunch of volunteers, uh, started uh, cooperation with uh, with the Breda Design Festival exhibition of Dutch posters. Our project participative called uh, We Have a Problem, exhibition of all uh, old uh, Serbian advertising posters. Again, famous exhibitions. We finally got Slovenian exhibitions from uh, 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 Tribuna and uh, search, find, uh, search, find, um, like, share, share, yeah, exhibition from, from Breda. One of the best lectures of that year was one of the, uh, for the, uh, Vesna, Vesna Pesic. Uh, we, we were all really, uh, uh, 
uh, eyes full of tears on, on, on the lecture of, uh, by, by Oliver Kartak, and of course workshops again, workshops again on the streets. Uh, Jana Ulrich, uh, my studio and faculty is usually the headquarters of, 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 the, of the event, of the workshops again exchange. And this is the list of, 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 of uh, 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 lecturers and, uh, and uh, 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 workshop leaders through all four years. So really, really a great bunch of, of regional, nearly every, every, every uh, educator from the region was, was at some uh, uh, time part of the, of the conference. Uh, we usually have around 200 to 250 participants, around 100 to 120 each year on, on, on workshops. And actually for me it's still the secret how uh, a soldier is so famous, how, why, why, how a soldier earned this kind of a, of a status. Okay, it was the first. Uh, uh, after that, of course, then we have uh, fluid in in Cetinje. Now we have we had SOS in Sarajevo. So we started somehow. We were the first, but I think there are few few things that that are for us important. We were focused. We were not the conference for creative industries. We were focused on graphic design, on the students, and on the region, which I think is important. It, it was not another conference on English. We were trying to speak as much as we can in our uh, native languages. We had registration fee from the first conference, which was symbolic, around 10 euros. But it was a kind of a commitment. Simply you said, yes, I'm going to come, I'm going to participate, and I'm going to put some real uh, uh, money value in it. Uh, it was based on the extremely low budget from the first time but extremely high energy and uh, 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 really a lot of uh, efforts from, from everybody, not only from us, three of us organizers, but also from all our colleagues in the region. It was very participatory. A lot of, we, we tried to organize as much workshops and ex uh, some kind of exchange activities as we could. And of course, a part of the fame goes to Belgrade and, uh, and, and, and his nightlife, but I think the key words for our conference are still uh, maybe a bit, uh, a bit sentimental, passion, and love. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Hi, everybody. It's uh, really great to be a part of this uh, event. And when we got uh, the invitation, we instantly said yes. Um, and then we were asked to present our conference, which Boro just did, but then we realized that we want to present another project that basically we were ready for after we did the conference for four years. And uh, one of the key words these days, or yesterday and uh, today, is uh, everybody is saying huge gap, huge gap. And since we have been involved in education, in design education for the past 10 years, uh, we realized that when we get students at the faculty, we are facing this gap instantly. Um, and that there is a, a lack of education in design in our educational system. So what we want to present here today is a design seminar that has been organized in it's, um, uh, it's one complex that is situated in a village uh, around 100 kilometers from Belgrade. This is the surroundings, how it looks. And this is the actual complex. Um, it's, uh, if we talk in fact, uh, it's the biggest and probably the oldest independent nonprofit organization for extracurricular informal science education in South and Eastern Europe. It has been founded uh, 35 years ago, and this year they are celebrating uh, the big jubilee. 
And if you can see here in the numbers, they have like a really wide uh, experience in education, mostly for high school students. And we were really attracted by the invitation to, to, to come to the center and to organize a design seminar. And um, we were really like um, happy that we can provide some education for, for high school uh, age, let's say. Uh, this is the disciplines that uh, they are developing there and as you can see it's all sciences and uh, this year we, we got uh, like officially included in their structure so now they have four departments uh, A, B, C which are natural sciences, humanistic sciences, technological sciences and we got our department uh, <laughs> like a department D uh, for, for design. And um, it was not really easy to, 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 to come there and start doing it because everybody was like looking a bit strange at us and they're like, what are you really doing at the seminar? Some of them were asking like, do you make clothes or, or things like that. And uh, very soon uh, we were a kind of a joke in the center and uh, we got, um, like a nickname uh, that was uh, Disneyland, I will explain a bit later. So basically we came, uh, we started with this premise that design is like a big word that um, is all over us or everywhere around us and yet it's like on the margin uh, when we talk about uh, the education and, and schooling system. So we had to constantly like um, polish and sharp uh, what are we going to like talk uh, in the seminar. And first of all, we, we had to like um, start with the word beautiful. And one of the first uh, exercises that we do with our participants is to ask them to give us five examples of what is beautiful and to try to decode what beauty is in terms of creation. So we, we, we talk about these things are as important factors when we talk about design, but we say to them that design is not a science, not art, especially not decoration and packaging, which most of the people do think still, uh, not technology, techniques or, or, or software. And when we try to, to explain what design is, we, we talk about the pluralism and like multifaceted uh, framework that design is very complex. At the end, we had this uh, statement uh, when we present our work in the annual conference at the center, we say, how we say, well, uh, mathematics is easy, design is not. So this is something that uh, this board, sorry, I didn't translate it, but I, I didn't translate it like uh, uh, deliberately because we are still trying to develop the, the, the whole uh, language in our native languages. So this is basically some kind of our methodology that we focus on sophisticated mental processes um, uh, about the union of different uh, scopes of ideas and motives to, to realize something of this idea. And um, this is basically how we started. We talked about the, the fundamental things that uh, concern design. Uh, one of the first exercises that we did, um, and we started like in 2012, so now it's five years, and it took us a lot of time to like uh, really realize what we can do in, in, uh, in seminars, is that we started with this pictogram of like uh, a man, and we asked them what they can do in order to present certain phenomena or situations. And one of the first one, oops, was uh, that we came up with this sorry <laughs> pictogram of a Disneyland man or a, a participant of a design seminar. And then we applied it using like techniques of the stencil and then we asked them to, while applying it on a construction fence of the center, 
to, to like think of when applying it, if they can use the, the site-specific uh, situation, like here with the nails, which explains a bit what it takes to be a designer, I can say that, with, with the certain thoughts. Like this, or like this, or even like this, which I still believe it's really important. And then this is uh, our colleague, Vesna Pejovic, a product designer that works with us. And uh, because the first seminar happened while the, the center has been reconstructed and there have been uh, a lot of cardboards, we came up with this idea how we can like have this add-on and uh, mark ourselves while being uh, marked as a Disneyland seminar. And this is the rhizomatic structure that uh, we sprayed in order when we talked about uh, different networking model in, in design and contemporary society. Um, the seminar works uh, as an annual program. Uh, it has like uh, three, three seminars. One is winter seminar, summer seminar, and autumn seminar. The first one uh, lasts six days and we have around 30 participants and basically it's the same structure as uh, we discussed these two days with a lot of uh, lectures, presentations, screenings, debates, uh, etc. And uh, they have uh, like one project that they work on and what we um, Defined is that uh, these big projects are never uh, single projects, but they they are doing it in groups, and somehow this is the methodology of a teamwork as well, which we believe it's it, it's um, a part of contemporary uh, uh, approach. So basically, these these are the prototypes. They were doing like a product design. Uh, project to create um, a souvenir of Petnica because we realized that the souvenirs are all like very uh, boring like some cups and t-shirts and baseball caps just with the logo and we asked them to think about uh, a design approach that can apply to the, the whole line of products and this is something that we were, have been uh, quite proud of it's like a a uh, multi bookmarker that you can mark more than one one page. And uh, what, what's interesting is that the working hours are really long. Basically, every day we work from 10 o'clock in the morning uh, until midnight. And even if you come like uh, in the working space at 2, 3 o'clock in the night, they would still be looking at the projects and really passionately uh, like analyzing and developing them. Uh, this is one of the projects that they did, uh, like a board game. And even if we have certain breaks, like going for walks or going to the swimming pool, we always use them like uh, in order to give them smaller tasks, like such as body typography, exercise, or this is one of the examples, or even because the surrounding is really beautiful, it's um, like a really nice nature. We go to the cave, which is also very famous. Uh, we ask them, for instance, to make to come up with a, like a flower bouquet that would uh, represent a, a certain art movement. So this is the example of Baroque or Gothic. Um, Arte povera, uh, erotic art, and Dada, for instance. <laughs> and uh, we found out that these smaller tasks are also very uh, enlivening and uh, joyful. And uh, through some fun part and like short uh, dynamics, uh, they come up with like also good insights. And uh, when we talk about design, um, it's even those are like students from high schools, mostly they don't go to design high schools, they go to general gymnasium. 
um, they very quickly start to develop this ambition to make something which has a wow effect and in a way it's like really complicated and there is geometry, mathematics and so on behind it. And we allow them a little bit to, to think in that way, like here that they uh, were doing uh, these prototypes. But then, uh, like, we are really, really persistent to, to keep it uh, as, as um, simple as possible and um, without being too complicated. We always ask them to work from, like, cheap, affordable materials and uh, to come up with, uh, if it is a product, something that can be easily produced and something that relates uh, to them as well. Um, this is one of the projects uh, that um, we are really fond of. It, it happened in the winter seminar. We uh, presented them oblique strategies from Brian Eno and Peter Schmidt and um, as a set of cards that serve uh, to unblock your uh, creative blockage. And we asked them to rethink about the packaging of these cards. And uh, for instance, this is the project that one group did. They um, chose uh, the instructions with, uh, that had uh, the connection with the sound. And they came up with this uh, cardboard set that was uh, packaged in a box that uh, serves like a playing, for instance, toy. Very, very... Uh, simple idea but yet very effective and uh, this is one of the cards they use the materials that they just found around them in, in a physics lab um, and I have like videos with sound maybe <laughs> okay I'll play it again This one says use fewer notes or use echoes. Okay, this is one like a very typical uh, branding uh, and product design projects. Um, the theme at the summer festival was to create uh, uh, an educational and uh, um, ecological toy made out of only using cardboard for uh, kids at a different age. And this group got uh, the age uh, from five to seven years. And they came up with this project that is called uh, Zolica. It's in Cyrillic letters, um, which is also like 300 faces, because the, the first part is like 300. And um, they also started like using cardboard and using uh, creases and trying to come up with some like attractive geometry which uh, at the end came as a product that consists out of three uh, boards uh, that come in a nice package without any extra material used that kids can use to play in order to create uh, faces of animals and this uh, really bland cardboard suddenly became very live and uh, started to, to represent all different animals like elephant, uh, frog, etc. And they had to come up with the, the, the whole like a business plan proposal and it really worked beautifully and they did it like in eight, eight days all together. And it's called the Lemonade Elephant, the product. Um, this summer we, we started to, to think about how we can employ and present not only uh, designer thinking but also like uh, art 
art thinking and uh, some media praxis that includes space intervention and also like uh, creating a different kind of experiences. And the theme was forest and the whole group that consisted of 20 participants uh, was divided in um, five uh, different groups and each group got uh, a one particular sense. And uh, this was like the installation, the group that worked with the sense of hearing and sound. Uh, this is the sense of smell and taste. And uh, this was like a new, the fifth group got a next sense um, to, to like uh, speculate on, on a new kind of sense that would allow us to, to see forest in a, in a new way. And I will briefly show you just one project. This is the group that uh, worked with the sense of touching. Um, they, they went exploring, they were collecting different things, and basically they were like a bit stuck on uh, their wish to create like a game. They were obsessed to, to create a, a board game or a game in a space. But at the end, they were doing a lot of research and mapping, and uh, they come up to create uh, an object, an interactive object that would, uh, they called it at the end, a monster. And basically, this was the object which you could interact with. Um, they had all the different samples of the forest inside uh, this object, and you could like push your hand and like. Uh, without any other senses, just by touching, experience uh, different qualities of touching uh, the forest. In the end, uh, they decided to burn it down in order to like uh, illustrate uh, the destruction uh, relationship that uh, humans have to the nature. And once it was gone, there was like an empty playground and everybody was like first fascinated with the fire and then felt a bit sad about that the project was missing. And this annual program concluded uh, in an autumn where each of the group had to, to like, um, uh, I wouldn't say document, but um, in a way present uh, their processes through a publication or a book and uh, this group come up on the cover you can see their symbol come up with a series of um, drawings that were actually uh, illustrating how people reacted with the object and how they destroyed it in the end and abandoned it and uh, this is one also a publication which had a drawings that represented uh, their keyword was like uh, obstacle and fear that was like their dominant uh, and they, they got to the conclusion that people are actually very afraid of the forest and that they feel it as an obstacle and this is just uh, the box where all the projects and publications were presented Wow. So Borok is dealing with soldiers and you are dealing with uh, civilians. Uh, so the, the, those are just the ordinary kids, you know, no design education, just high school. Yeah. And now let's go to very speculative kind of space, not existed, existing even yet. Ivica, tell us more about it. Thank you. Uh, I'm Ivica Mitrovic from the Department of Visual Communication Design at Arts Academy in Split. A um, few words about context. So we know we are living in the new social, technological, media, economical conditions. Uh, technology is more than ever it's becoming part of our everyday life. So our, our environment is becoming hybrid, which means made of physical and digital or virtual reality. Uh, these realities, these new realities are generating new hybrid experiences. It is not something which is just related to the future, it's something which is happening every day. We all 
but most of us using stuff like Google, Google Street View, for example. We are interacting with technology every day, voluntary or, or, or not, willingly or not willingly to do it. So we are facing with a number of issues related to the transparency, ownership, border security, control, privacy, and so on. In this context of new social technological media and economic conditions, uh, um, we can see new approaches to design. A new designers which uh, act on the borders of traditionally defined discipline. They are just removing the borders between them. These so-called new designers are critically reflect on development of, and the role of technology in society today. They are dealing with implications of technology, not, not more with its application. They are related to diverse fields of science. They are just asked questions to open issues and discussion, and they are moved from the commercial aspects of design from the market. In order to answer to all these, let's say, challenges, we have started, started Interactia. Interactia is, uh, we can say, informal educational platform, which is happening at the Department of Visual Communication Design at S Arts Academy in Split, and which is close connected with our master program module, which is called Interactive Media. Uh, we have started everything in 2001 when I was a uh, participant at the summer school and interaction design institute in Ivrea, Ivrea uh, near Torino, which at that time was the, I, I could say, the most important hub, design hub, which was connected with uh, new technologies. Uh, Arduino came from this, from Ivrea. In 2004, uh, we have hosted the uh, international uh, summer school uh, which was part of the European project Convivio. Uh, the name of the summer school was Communities, Communities in Transition. And then uh, from that experience we started a series, series of workshops. Uh, we, moved, we started with user-centered participatory design methodology and we slowly moved to critical interaction design and nowadays we are dealing with speculative approach in design. Our goals, our workshop goals are, uh, was, or they are still, uh, to give a supplement for the regular or traditional or let's say slow changing uh, design curriculum, uh, to have a chance to introduce dynamic new design approaches and methodologies, uh, to deal with up to date knowledge, knowledge and skills, and to have a chance to bring not only academics, but also experts from the field of practice. In one week, let's say whole day workshops or work, we wanted to offer our participants uh, experience of multidisciplinary group work, uh, to think about or to use design as a different way of thinking, reflective, critical, and socially responsible, and to go beyond the limits of design uh, definitions and to rethink the, what is designed today. Uh, we have been or we were interested in diverse range of themes. We have started with just people-centered methodology, uh, via hybrid city, real utopias, alternative present to last year topic, uh, speculative design in the real world. Workshops were led by experts, practitioners and academics from coming from well-known international institutions. Uh, so we had the chance to meet really, really interesting people uh, in Split. And so far, more than 250 students attended the workshop. One week workshop, which is, uh, which is organized in one, uh, one, uh, one week uh, every year. We, Recently, more uh, the workshops are very multidisciplinary. So we have students from all different kinds of design, but also from architecture, computer science, ICT, uh, film and video, new media arts, sociology, psychology. And recently, we moved to more international level. Uh, for the for the many years, we had uh, participants from the region, 
and recently we moved more uh, to or we orientated more to uh, to broad the number of participants so we call more European uh, Union students. Uh, last year we have students from Sweden, Ireland, and, and so on. Uh, also, Warsaw has been have traveled out, outside of Croatia. We were at Magdalena Festival in Maribor, also in Sarajevo, Cetinje, Pula, and also uh, works produced at, at, at the Warsaw where were exhibit in different uh, festivals in the region, also awarded at uh, some important design exhibitions or festivals here in the region. Uh, we had, uh, we presented our workshop and methodology at uh, exhibition at uh, Croatian Designers Association Gallery in 2012. And uh, nowadays we have implemented all these uh, experiences. We have learned to our regular curriculum uh, at our master level, we have started uh, with the program in 2005. Uh, in 2009, we organized uh, International uh, inter Interaction Design Symposium uh, with the title Research and Education in, also in Split. Uh, slowly, we have extended our activities to from the workshop to talks, discussion, publishing, also exhibitions, and, and now we are kind of platform with, uh, which, which support different activities, project collaboration, and so far we had more than 550 participants, not public, just participants who actively take the part in the interacts, interacts with the educational activity. I, guess I see some of the participants also, also here in this room. Uh, also, we, we, we are happy and we are proud to have the chance to have uh, really interesting names in Split in Laos in the last 13 years. One of the outcomes of our activities uh, led us to the European project Urban AXD, uh, which uh, was uh, started in 2013 with our partners from uh, Napier, Napier Edinburgh University, Opus in Denmark and, and, and Telecom Italia. And it was resulted in highly successful our Urban AXD summer school. Uh, and we were especially proud because summer school was based on the concept and our experience of interactive workshops. But this time was focused more on master and PhD and young researchers and young practitioners. Uh, we had more than 40 participants, but we got more than 200 great applications for the, for the summer school. Uh, participants from the field of design, architecture, urban studies, new media art, ICT, psychology, psychology, and, and anthropology. anthropology. Uh, there is a short video I will show you which is connected with the, with the summer school. Urban IXD is a, an FET project funded under the Future and Emerging Technology uh, Initiative from the European Union. Summer school uh, has been that it's been quite intense. Okay, uh, followed by the this summer school and, and the whole project was followed by the uh, highly successful City Data Future exhibition, which was based on the summer school works, but also we invited some uh, well-known authors uh, for the exhibition. Uh, uh, exhibition was focused on a broad audience, not only in experts, and we have traveled to seven locations, Split Venice, uh, uh, Rijeka, Media, Media Architecture, Biennale in Opus, Pula, Ljubljana, uh, and, and Zagreb. Uh, catalog for this exhibition was also extended with the methodology section, and as a follow-up of this uh, catalog, catalog of, or this 
methodological section. Uh, we have published educational book booklet introduction, introduction to speculative design practice uh, in collaboration with the uh, Croatian Designers uh, uh, Association. This uh, uh, catalog was a really high, uh, high success. And uh, also from this exhibition, we have started uh, uh, our own production. Uh, uh, at, 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 at the department in, in Split. And uh, last year we got a great opportunity to represent the Republic of Croatia at uh, uh, Milano Triennale, which was titled uh, 21 Century Design After Design. And we have selected 10 votes from the Croatian authors which could be placed, placed under the category of speculative design. Uh, we also publish, always when we have the chance to publish catalog, we do something more, so we uh, edited uh, and published Reader, which, uh, which is overview of speculative practice, and also with uh, nice inter interviews with uh, uh, great international experts in the field of design, let's say new design practices. Uh, also, this catalog was a great success, uh, there is a lot of people asking us for this uh, to get it. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, free to download uh, uh, online. And uh, also as a follow-up of this Milano event, uh, we moved the exhibition in Split. <coughs> and uh, as a part of this year inter Interaccia workshop. And we also organize a public discussion in order to discuss, critically reflect and to rethink today's speculative design practice. So now we are basically critical about, critical, critical about uh, today, trying to be critical, try to, trying to discuss about today speculative design practice uh, with great guests uh, from the both sides, uh, affirmative and critical about speculative approaches. Uh, also, James Sogan was here, one of the pioneers of the, of the design practice. Uh, discussion was very dynamic and fruitful, and uh, at the moment I'm doing on transcri transcription, and it will be published online soon. It's the first time uh, I think that we have this kind of uh, public discussion uh, in the field of uh, speculative design practice. Uh, more about these activities you can find on our blog, or uh, of course on our social networks. Thank you. If it's a, you were one minute too long. I know this because you use too much technology. And I can see the timer is going on. <laughs> so uh, after we heard... No, no, it's okay, we, we changed the... After we heard uh, these uh, uh, cases uh, where uh, the system is, is kind of uh, probed with uh, the teams uh, which are rarely open uh, and trying to uh, put the finger on the problems uh, in a public space after the education is seen uh, through uh, uh, as a not a segmented part of the uh, just the you, you get to another level and forget about everything else and you try to integrate design into on a lower level uh, intercultural uh, relationship which were broken making uh, old uh, uh, connections new roots uh, and uh, if it's a approach uh, which was uh, kind of uh, institutional so you can see uh, when you put uh, a bug in a system uh, and then develop it uh, to, uh, with uh, um, the institution behind you, you can uh, have this kind of international level. And uh, we thought that it would be interesting uh, to have uh, uh, insight. Uh, uh, how uh, does a country like uh, Austria, which has a great tradition in edu education, uh, even uh, uh, ed uh, the modern education came from this system, uh, the, the Bologna tried to stop it, but uh, let's see how uh, uh, in uh, that country uh, uh, is there a possibility to make some structural, structural reforms. Students, 
Um, it's changing a little bit, but the, the, the people 10 years ago that tried to, to, to kick off this uh, system of, of masters, uh, uh, they, they was not successful. So this is depending who is, uh, who is in which university, university what you can study. Um, then there is a, a second system, the vocational training. Uh, this is also in the Bologna system, so for bachelor and for masters. Um, there's a very interesting um, new founded uh, places in Austria uh, dealing mainly with new media in Hagenberg. So it's very interesting uh, um, studies you can do there because young people were founding this uh, vocational training institution. Um, and then this is uh, my, my speech today. There's a sector in Austria that is very uh, big. Uh, it's uh, the secondary colleges of engineering. Um, um, there are 60,000 students in Austria that are, have the ability to become an A grade. Uh, so we, we speak about uh, young people that became an a, a grade as well as a training on the job. So they have a double, a, double system of education. Uh, they are at, at, with 18, with 19, they have an A grade as well as a full um, Beruch job uh, like this. And then there is our informal uh, institutions. Um, two weeks ago where I was in a hacker space, they are not financed, and, uh, but they are very interesting courses uh, in, in downtown in Vienna and so on. You can also have education in fields that are not offered by the state. So when, let's have a look on the system of design uh, education in Austria. You see, the, in whole the country, there are different places where young people can um, have education in design. This is coming out from a tradition after the Second World War. The Social Democrats decided not to fight the factory owners, and uh, so they make a deal in Austria. They said, OK, um, education will be free for our people. Um, um, education will be free for every social um, um, people, um, but we offer that, uh, that we will make training on jobs so that the factories and the industries uh, are able to have good workers uh, uh, in between. So this is a, a sector um, mainly in uh, engineering, mainly in technical uh, jobs, in tourism, in IT, in uh, construction and so on. And the deal is that the state is paying for education and the deal is that the industry and the factories or the companies, agencies, uh, will take the, the young people and give them a job and integrate them in their system. This system is changing tremendously as the capitalism is in a late uh, area of not only globalization but uh, also of uh, trusts that uh, rule the mar market, and we know it very well, and I will show you what the solutions could be in our field, because the, this deal between uh, um, uh, a social education in design uh, uh, for everyone and uh, the deal with the industry is not working anymore. Um, and so we, we, we will show what solutions we will have. Um, so, figures, uh, facts and figures, in art and design we have uh, about 2,000 students in Austria, in media there are 1,200, and in graphic design, graphic and communication design there are 800 people. So, um, we have two, two kind of education in this field, from 14, you can go to this uh, voc vocational training uh, schools, yeah, these are schools, they are, they are five years, and the uh, whole week they are in the school and for 40% or 30% they have general education and for 60% they have specific education. I will show you the curricula, what the specific education mean. Um, I will not talk today on, on very specific um, curricula because they are depending on, on, on which, uh, which curriculum we speak. But, in general, they, are, they have uh, in the school working places, so they can really, really work uh, in studios or on, on uh, studios in the media or have uh, Werkstätten where they can be educated. We have team teaching or teaching in groups, um, and the teachers are not 
uh, the teachers are experts from the field, so they are invited to teach at the school. They come in the field of design, they came out of the agency, and so they have at least to, to work for four years in, in, in the job before they can be teachers. But the state uh, also say they have to have an uh, academic degree. So this is uh, an academic uh, um, school. Um, as uh, for, for five years you are in the school and at the end you have one year you make a diploma, so a practical work, and you have to do it in teams. So it's not, uh, it's not your, um, your artistic uh, values that are created. You have to learn to, to cooperate with other experts and to show in your diploma that you are able to, to cross borders and work together and have disability too. And each diploma has to have an external partner. So this can be a company, this can be um, an expert from the university. When you design something, new material for a kindergarten, this can be a kindergarten that are, have experts that you work with. Because uh, you will see, I will explain it, uh, concepts and th design thinking is one of the main topics in these schools. But at the end, you have an A-level degree. Uh, not uh, everybody is going to the job. A lot of them go to university, but they are well-trained uh, in design, you can imagine, and in communication to really uh, have good five years and then to, to be open enough to change maybe their mind. But um, there are also a second, uh, second thing. We have colleges for two and plus one year. Uh, so when you have an A-level degree, um, then you can come to these uh, colleges and for two years you will get really a 100% specific education in the fields. Uh, it's also team teaching, well-established uh, well schools. You have to imagine that in a region uh, where uh, uh, industry uh, wants to have some employees that are well-educated, they spend also material machines and they invest also in the school. So the, the schools are really um, good um, established. Um, maybe uh, this could be a deal, yeah, uh, that, that you say, okay, education is not uh, only for kids, it's also a social, uh, has a social goal, and so this system was growing and growing in Austria. So half of the, half of the, uh, young uh, kids that are 14 go to this type of school and the half go in this, the other school. Um, also here are teachers, experts from the field like Goran is one um, and the cooperation is also in this field. So we have three curricula. I'm the coordinator for Austria for the uh, graphic designers and the communication designers, this curriculum. Um, you know, this uh, is very specific now with uh, corporate design, editorial design, typography, and so on. Um, then we have a uh, curriculum for media. There is uh, into film, multimedia art, photography, and audiovisual media, illustration, and game design. And then we have uh, very traditional schools with art and design. It's very interesting because in every discussion of this curriculum group for five years now, in every discussion, there's one and a half an hour discussion, should we, uh, should we uh, leave the, uh, the arts out of the curriculum or should we have it into? So you see, we are not talking on universities, we are talking on vocational training. But there are surface design, object design, ceramics, metal, product design, interior design and so on. These schools follow the, uh, the society because, uh, as you know, the textile industry, yeah, so the fashion industry was uh, going down in Austria tremendously. So we have no uh, industry in this sector anymore and uh, the state closed as well this type of school. So this is a deal-deal situation. In my opinion, uh, I'm proud about it. It's a win-win it's a situation but we will see what the next 10 years will bring uh, because we are not naive. So, um, 
for general uh, saying, the educational, uh, educational sector and of design in Austria is hardly privatized at all. So we have uh, only two institutions that are private uh, institutions. This is one university in St. Pölten, and this is the Werbeakademie um, in Vienna. They, they offer uh, for designers uh, for a lot of money very good education, but as you saw, um, we have uh, a lot of good uh, state institutions. Um, but and Austria, in my opinion, did not make the thought uh, to um, to go to open this the education sector to private private uh, um, um, private uh, privatizing it. I have good connections to uh, um, Germany, and I was vis visiting Barcelona. And when you are uh, living in Barcelona. Um, you will meet uh, in a cafe, 50% uh, of in a cafe are designers because they paid a lot uh, to become designer because in Barcelona um, they offer for 4,000 people uh, design studies um, with bachelor degree and so on and so on. So they produce unemployed designers. Uh, but they paid for it to become designer. So I would really um, warn you to, to privatize this market of students, yeah, because it's easy. Yeah? You, everybody has a handy and want to become a designer, and so you can make a private institution and, and to privatize the sector, what, but what you produce is unemployment. And so I'm happy in Austria that this deal, uh, or the strategy of the ministry is very, very, um, uh, near the, the, the social situation and the employment situation, so we are really monitoring this, uh, this thing because they are 14 years old, the kids, and we are responsible for them, and uh, this is not a, a value for uh, designers with no job to make an institution to earn money. Okay, <laughs> so the percentage of unemployed designers is therefore not very high, and the concept of dual education, it's named, brings with, with it advantage for employees and the agencies, so far, I would say. But there are also problems. Uh, you can imagine that uh, this is a good system, a well-financed system. Uh, this is very, very uh, lasting for changes. Yeah? So uh, every institution wants to, to, to hold the status, yeah? and want, do, do not want to lose it. And teachers there are re really um, in, so in a good social situation, and they don't don't want to lose their their jobs. So they are. It's very hard uh, to to bring any flexibility into this uh, kind of schools. But the the European uh, thinking uh, in this Bologna system was was really really. Uh, not productive for the design sector, and it was for nothing. Um, and but they, but, but there's a rethinking uh, in by, by in the responsibilities. Um, we will, I will show you later. We will uh, stop these uh, strict curriculars and stop these strict uh, systematics in the education field. And I would also warn you to to, to systematize uh, everything in 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 just a field like this. Um, and the Ministry of Education uh, has the plan now in Austria to give the curriculums free to the schools that they can react on local needs. Uh, and this is very good because the schools will be free to develop their own curriculums. So what are, what are the trends in, uh, in education uh, systems? What are the trends in, in uh, educating design, in my opinion, or in the opinion uh, of the ministry, uh, as they are very open to be, to have experts into we are uh, discussing some points. Dig digitalization is proceeding, so uh, after the pictorial turn, the turn in, of social communication is now in full spate. Um, when you teach uh, media designer or communication designer, you will not uh, close your, you cannot close your eyes from the turn of social communication that is going on, and you have to react on it. Um, so this is one of the trends. The second is 
the industrialization, the globalization. We have the really, really problem, and we heard it in the panel this morning, and we heard it now, that it seems to be that in late capitalism and in the new liberal world that is coming to an end, there are two possibilities for designing education. You can uh, make education for the big uh, global players and the companies. Uh, it was very interesting in your, uh, in your introduction that you showed some uh, industrial cooperation with, between Brown and uh, some German industry and the designers. Uh, and what you do is nothing, uh, designing uh, consumer goods, so you left the, left the, um, the cooperation. And it's, uh, I understand it because when you call Google, who would you call to have a cooperation, yeah? And when you call Mercedes, uh, you want to make an exhibition, Mercedes will say, okay, we have your, our, our own uh, space uh, for presenting our design. Uh, uh, designers, what they're doing. So, um, uh, big companies have uh, started to invent their own education. Um, in Austria, it's better because they are. Uh, uh, we have this. Uh, this. This. Um, what. What is the name of this very sweet caffeine? Uh, Red Bull. Yeah, we have Red Bull uh, <laughs> in Austria uh, in Salzburg and. So it's very hard to there to, to make an education because um, what, what you do you decide? Will you educate the young graphic designers for Red Bull that they are working there? Or will Red Bull open uh, known design uh, education things? Will you, uh, the, um, will you say, okay, forget it. You will do what you want. Uh, you have beautiful uh, skills in aesthetics. Uh, so. It's very hard to deal with, yeah? And so I saw also in your discussion that um, there's a second chance in my, in my I will, on the, on the chances I will talk at least in one minute. So this, this is the problem, problem with industrialization, globalization, we have to react on it. Um, in a curriculum, as a state, I'm speaking very proud uh, as a, in, in, the, in the sense of the, uh, of the idea of the state, and um, at the other hand, the communication multiplies tremendously. So this, uh, this kind of uh, top-down communication or this kind of, uh, there's the master and there are the students and so on. So in our, in our understanding of education, we will forget about this kind of, uh, kind of thinking. Uh, we will see. So how to react, I come to the end. Um, I, in our opinion, the economic value of a designer, yeah? What, what, what is the value of a design today? If you design consumer goods or if you make experimental design, it's increasingly, increasingly based on technical specialized skills that no one can have for its own. But what you, what you have to know as a designer to know this special specialized skills. So what we did is that we uh, introduced a for graphic designers programming. So if you do not uh, understand the machine, you would be naive to design the surface. Yeah? To design the surface, not the machine. So we introduced and we, we, we teach our uh, students in programming skills. But not that they are able to be programmer, because this is the specialist, but to understand and to co-work with a programmer. Second, um, in our opinion, the economic value of design is now determined by concepts and consulting skills. Um, it's a very nice exhibition here, but I make this little remark that um, for, for design nowadays, I have the feeling you have really, really to uh, come into the concept of the, uh, of the communication idea and then to be uh, in a very wide, broad way, not um, educated in a certain style, but uh, global and open enough to understand what the communication problem is and to react on it. So uh, we react on it that uh, now also in the small town in Austria, semiotics is uh, uh, teached uh, because we know that, uh, that the, um, the the skills or the value uh, of a design is uh, um, 
depending on this and I liked very much the, uh, the uh, I liked very much the design uh, yesterday from the young students you are here yeah uh, where you really showed that out of conceptual thinking what what to do with a uh, with a chair, so this was not concept thinking. These chairs, uh, but yours were. Uh, what 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 is what is the what is the aim of a, of a design? And con out coming out of a research, coming out of this idea, you created value, in my opinion. Yeah, and then you work together with experts, uh, and it's not uh, the question of aesthetics. If this, if this uh, green or red or or like this. This is my opinion, you can uh, throw your stones when you want, it's okay. Um, I think um, this uh, global globalization and the big industries has also a chance because um, also, um, also the, the debate in the social democracy um, has changed uh, not to fight the industry but to say we are in Europe, we are very rich, and we have the possibility to invent um, to invent products that are not consumer goods. But you uh, you come you come uh, in a new field of design thinking, where, where you uh, where you create new inventions, and um, so. In this field, in Internet of Things, you can uh, you can uh, imagine. Uh, maybe the product designer of tomorrow is uh, inventing some device and crowdfunding it and try to to open it also in a social space then to be well educated for Mercedes or another company because there will not be enough uh, places to work work for and so maybe we are uh, at the evening of the New, we have to sleep at night, but we will wake up in this split of, uh, of, of industry, in my opinion. And we have to react on it. And so um, I'm, also, uh, I'm also talking to the marketing people and the management people also. Please do not think only on plans uh, of big industry product uh, uh, thinking when you think on design. Be open enough also to learn uh, from uh, uh, Clickstarter and other forms of economy um, that you teach your your young designers. So do not uh, come with your old uh, thinking um, and and, and uh, try to implement this here, but also learn something about new uh, new forms of capitalism. This is my. I said it. Okay, it's out out of my mouth. I think. <laughs> so, how to react? Um, of course, it's learning in teams of experts instead of enhancing the self. So, consumers enhance their self, or um, uh, people that uh, are making selfies enhance their self, or so. So, when you think about design education, you should uh, uh, think, and there was great uh, examples here we saw. Uh, this morning and now we're working in teams of experts is the future. So it is, is very clear. But the institution should also uh, give a space for this, uh, for this uh, kind of productivity. In my opinion, um, this uh, ve very well paid uh, design education sector in Austria and I I'm very proud of Austria that they are really clever enough to, to spend money for this sector. Really, I'm really proud of it. But the interna internationalization is lacking in Austria, so I have to say it, yeah. So we are very uh, self-confident in the sector and we are, have no need to really make exchanges and so on and so on. And this should be, could be increased, but Austria has a, another chance that you do not have, yeah. The migration uh, is really an exciting challenge for the design sector here in Austria. You should also think about it um, because uh, intercultural global learning, um, to understand communication, to how understand what social living would mean, uh, can be a great, great uh, chance in teaching design. But 
as well, we have to, we have to, um, I have to say that we are very proud about that. We, we, we have a lot of students that are not coming out from this bourgeois, uh, uh, bourgeois art, uh, bobo, uh, bohemian uh, students. Uh, but we are really teaching uh, normal people to designers, and they are good designers at the end of the of the rally. And so, so we have uh, two concepts in Austria to make a a year again a year for ma ma for for young people that are uh, coming from Syria and other countries to become designer. So, and um, so to say. Um, what we have in the curriculum as well is that um, a designer, as a designer, you are not responsible for cons consumer goods only, yeah. But you also not only. Um, so this is we have not this uh, the thing of the resistance of the artist who is resisting the society. Um, our our claim is the responsibility because uh, what um, our students have to learn in graphic design is that they are responsible for the images of men and women in advertising they are responsible uh, of the of the social uh, social environments in the future so we are not only teaching there for consumer goods but also for social needs um, yeah thank you very much these are my inputs for the And what to do now? Do we have another hour and a half? Because I, uh, I was listening and uh, accumulated some of my own thoughts. <laughs> uh, what, what shall we? What shall we do? Uh, okay, uh, I can uh, try to a bit uh, lousily wrap it up and maybe uh, some uh, questions. But really. Uh, uh, I would love to have these people for uh, a bit more time at the table. Do you agree? Okay, nice. <laughs> so let's get back to uh, me stuck in the elevator. Uh, it was be between third and uh, fourth floor, uh, not uh, third and the second. Uh, so uh, just uh, the lights got like tuk -tuk 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 -tuk, and everything stopped. So uh, there was no uh, light hit in it. The button uh, which goes beep beep uh, uh, doesn't work. Uh, I thought, uh, what, uh, what uh, would I do without uh, uh, the telephone? But who do I call? And then I saw there is a sticker. If you can call uh, this number if the elevator stops. Uh, but uh, it was uh, uh, dark inside. So I uh, wanted to uh, light it, but I had to remember it. And I also need a light. Uh, uh, the same thing was uh, the mobile phone and the uh, source of the light. So I really need to use my brain to remember seven numbers. Uh, uh, also, I always have this, but this was also unusual because uh, I, I would need to, I don't know, write with my mouth or what, what to do, how to do it. Uh, so, uh, and I wish I had a lighter, uh, but I gave the lighter to Isidora. Can you show the lighter? Do you have it by you? Ah, a bit. It's a, it's a Croatian football, uh, uh, not Croatian, it's a Dynamo uh, lighter, you know. And uh, I'm from Rijeka, so I don't. Symbolic, uh, you, uh, functionality was uh, uh, the thing that got me without light uh, in, in that dark uh, elevator. I didn't want the, the other team to have in my pocket. Uh, and then uh, I called them and nobody answered because it's uh, Saturday, you know. Uh, after uh, five minutes, uh, uh, they called back. But uh, before that, I called Isidora. And as many times in history, the Serbs are sa saving us Croats. <laughs> so sh she made me a company, like in the last uh, century, we had that state uh, when we were together, friends. I was in a dark elevator, she was smoking uh, where she shouldn't, had uh, stared. 
Uh, so uh, the, the guy uh, said, oh my god, okay, is everything okay? And I sounded uh, really uh, like, uh, okay, it's a man, it's alone, he's okay. And he said, oh, uh, somebody come in 15, 15 to 20 minutes. I said, okay. Uh, then uh, uh, after uh, half an hour, nobody came and I uh, called back. And uh, he just said me, uh, said to me that uh, uh, the guy was, uh, but from the other part of the time. So it's logical you have the service uh, on the other part of the time, uh, town. So you must. Uh, he uh, had the technology of a car and the infra infrastructure of this functional uh, traffic in uh, Zagreb. So okay, maybe he will come when he's able. Uh, and then uh, the, the, the guy came, so listen to this te technological, so this light uh, uh, transmediation uh, to my brain, then calling, then, then he gave me the number of that guy who is driving the car, I can imagine him like this using technology to save me, uh, and uh, his life is at stake at that moment, you know, maybe well, trying to save me, he, he, he must get uh, uh, in traffic jam. Uh, or police the, the, the stru from structured forces uh, which don't allow you to, to do this, but I'm in a dark uh, elevator, I must be safe. Uh, and then, uh, of course, uh, the, so the telecommunication, the everything, everything is trying to save me. Every technology except the one thing, elevator, which is also technology which doesn't work, is trying to, so much technology which is trying to help that one part that uh, it's not working. So the guy came, uh, and I was uh, asking also Isidora, we talked, uh, I, I looked at the, her shoes because I, this is the only thing I could see from this gap. So uh, uh, we talked, uh, but why don't they have inside some kind of uh, crank you can, why, why don't they have something like in all trams, you know, you, you don't just uh, pull it uh, uh, when you pull it when uh, it's emergency or something like that. And then the, the uh, guy finally came uh, after an hour and uh, so, uh, and I was starting to get, uh, uh, it was really cold there uh, at that elevator, the beton walls. Uh, I couldn't see outside because uh, it was uh, metal, not glass. And I saw some design problems and uh, improvements uh, uh, I could make also. Yeah, and then that guy came and just, uh, I heard from the outside that, oh, now we'll do it. <coughs> Opened the door, uh, pushed some, he had uh, two keys. He did it with two keys and uh, I was free. He just did it. And I asked him, oh, does anybody in the building have those keys? Mm, I don't know, I don't think so. We are the company which is uh, the key holder of the, all the elevators in Zagreb. And, and the, 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 uh, we are at the far part of the town where the, uh, you can have an uh, office for small, for cheap, for cheap money, you know. And uh, so, uh, but uh, why can I, let me see that uh, shape, maybe I can buy one of these. Yeah, see it. You, and it was triangle shape. So I never saw that kind of inbus key. So it's a special key. You, you cannot buy it anywhere. And I said, but why don't you put something uh, uh, inside the elevator, just in case you want to sleep uh, after you drank on Friday and just say, there's a key. Uh, you, you take that one button with, uh, which has a key pictogram and inside that there's a key and you free yourself and come uh, at the conference at the time. Huh? And uh, he said, oh, no, no, you know, the kids would play with that. So this is the problem. I, I was designer trapped into design. I was designer trapped into design and I couldn't prove myself in my own field inside the system. I was completely dependent on everything. This technology I could uh, have, didn't, uh, could not have. I, I needed a lighter at one moment. Uh, the guy was uh, like in uh, 
uh, live stake, uh, uh, so much calling, uh, talking with, through telecommunication, some money get, uh, you know, they burn some fuel, uh, the, the, uh, the telecommunication company got some money, just because there's a, for this uh, system in which I, as a designer, trapped in my own field, cannot prove myself, uh, uh, just because uh, there is a big threat for the system that uh, a child will play with, with this. So, uh, I, I think that uh, that's the, the whole problem. Uh, and these uh, guys, Zidora, which uh, that Petnica thing, I really, she's really dealing with the uh, kids playing, normal kids just playing. That's the the uh, the key and the aim. Uh, these are also structural prob uh, structure, structural uh, reformations, which are done uh, uh, th uh, that really sound uh, uh, good to me uh, in that uh, environment, uh, which is uh, uh, kind of uh, 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 with a tradition. You, you had that statistical tradition first uh, uh, in the world. You uh, taught. You have all. You had also in your education history some really progressive uh, uh, thinkers like uh, Ivan Illich uh, who was for uh, the schooling of society uh, and uh, like some thinkers that uh, later made uh, uh, elementary school on completely other levels and they're kind of uh, strange names they really sound all like uh, some of uh, uh, guys like uh, Austro-Hungarian uh, Slavic uh, so also uh, then borrowed. So uh, th there is no. Uh, it's all, always some kind of uh, anti-nationalistic thing. Uh, you you talk uh, quite patriotically, uh, but not nationalistic. Not nationalistically. You uh, welcomed the, the the new possibilities. Uh, borrowed is uh, doing that thing uh, uh, with connecting all those uh, uh, ex-Slavic uh, uh, nationalities, including Bulgaria that uh, should always be uh, also in this, <laughs> in the next level. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, the uh, technology uh, not took the uh, took, token uh, by itself. So uh, if it's uh, using a lot of technology, but kind of uh, uh, like uh, trying to push it to its limits. It's uh, those uh, speculative outcomes of, of his uh, uh, workshops uh, uh, seem uh, like an uh, ironical uh, 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 thing, uh, but seriously, uh, a sarcastical thing, uh, uh, speculations. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, also, uh, I saw uh, much more perverse and much more bizarre things on the market than they uh, ever did. So he's. Uh, He's uh, uh, trying to, uh, uh, to show it, uh, uh, the system uh, uh, as it is, in a kind of a caricatural uh, 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 way, uh, not in a banal caricatural way, but in that uh, clear uh, uh, way. And uh, also, uh, uh, oh, I, I wrote some question for, so let me see. Da, da, da. Yeah, Sonia. <laughs> yeah, the, the theme of uh, public space and uh, social responsibility. And, uh, there is, uh, in Albania, uh, that's the field of uh, uh, battle. We are here kind of uh, losing it. Uh, but uh, the, that uh, uh, space which uh, is open for uh, individual uh, possibilities uh, uh, which uh, is not uh, branded, not occupied, uh, uh, so we need space uh, and, and we need, need time. Uh, uh, we don't need someone to take uh, off our space and we don't need to someone to take our time. Uh, education, educational system, uh, schooling system as it is, is uh, wasting our time for a lot of uh, time. <laughs> So uh, the, the, the thing that I think uh, in education uh, are crucial, those are three things that are rarely uh, uh, put into definition of education. We 
talk about skills and knowledge, knowledge, skill, knowledge that creates knowledge. I'm not so sure that knowledge ever creates knowledge. If you look at, uh, uh, so data creates, when you stru structure data, you get information. When you structure information, you get knowledge. When you structure knowledge, what do you get? You don't, it, it's not it, uh, linear, it's always kind of another, another, another we, uh, level of, uh, uh, of another orbital, another level, uh, in a spiral, it's, it's another le level of, of uh, synthesis. Uh, so uh, the other three things are uh, values, beliefs, and habits. And uh, Nikola uh, Radeljkovic said, uh, well, that's uh, something you got uh, in the first uh, um, five years. You, you, you got it. Uh, uh, you, you cannot change it. Uh, I'm not sure the, the people nowadays tend to uh, get uh, older uh, later. The life expectancy is uh, much uh, uh, bigger. And uh, I myself uh, feel just like that uh, child. I really wanted to hack, to hack that uh, elevator, but uh, we must uh, open some Pandora and Isidora boxes uh, at the uh, early stage, not just like Prometheus bringing uh, fire uh, from the gods, just like here, that, that's it. But uh, first, uh, to, to that's uh, learning by doing. You, you do, you just do it, uh, but on the really healthy ground of uh, uh, healthy uh, beliefs, healthy uh, value system, uh, and uh, healthy habits. Then you have habit as a uh, habit uh, as a uh, lifelong learning. Then, then it's not lifelong learning something like like aporia or something. No, it, that's the habit you must uh, 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 inherit from from your education. Yeah? Uh, the, the, the values, uh, uh, you were talking about social democratic values, so it's not, uh, you may call it uh, another level of capitalism, yeah, uh, it's, it's the same. So the, the social democratic uh, system is uh, uh, the humanism of 20th century. We must then invent something for the 21st century that uh, uh, has uh, all these ingredients of technology and everything uh, 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 to put together. So uh, uh, this uh, uh, thing uh, uh, about those three other pillars of education, I think, should be considered much more uh, as a seriously. Yeah, serious. <laughs> uh, so th that's something I really wanted to say through the, all this uh, uh, conversation and. Uh, the, uh, all the things you do is the pluralism, you know. You must do it uh, in this way, structurally, like this guy from the uh, Austrian Minister of Education, wow, and he talks uh, things which I, which resonate kind of uh, with me. Uh, uh, Borut and Isidora uh, trying it also uh, in alternative ways. It's, uh, it's not the, the institutional kind of thinking, uh, but they are using other uh, um, uh, that, that version, uh, using that uh, STEM uh, uh, kind of uh, science uh, technology uh, platform and including design as a new, completely new uh, ingredient in, in, in that structure. Uh, uh, and also Ivica and uh, you, uh, on, but not on, on completely other uh, uh, levels. Uh, we need all of that. We, need, we really need all of that, and you can uh, then maybe expect that uh, uh, design will be some really uh, meta uh, discipline of, of uh, all the disciplines that it should be, and introduced at the earlier stage, and then there will maybe uh, be uh, no need for uh, uh, schools like we know. It will be something that will be at the primary, at the, in the kindergarten, you, you can learn design. It's uh, normal as uh, walking up. Uh, what do you want me to ask you now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I can start with something really concrete. Uh, what is happening with Voynich now? We are we are organizing a new one, it's going to happen in, in March, the usual uh, time, end, end of March. Something you said me also last year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this time for sure. But this, this time is for real. So. Uh, Petnica, uh, do you uh, have um, uh, any uh, plans for spreading, not only for the young uh, kids in Serbia or uh, the region? Is, uh, could it be involved in some way? Uh, the, the whole program of uh, Petnica is actually now open for a regional application. We, we had last year, we had one participant from Macedonia. Mm -hmm. the, the, the thing is that uh, all the program is organized in uh, Serbian language. That's the only thing. Uh, but if anyone from the region who speaks and understands the language can apply. We can design. Uh, we can design. There was. Uh, we can design new. Language. Yeah, yeah, because that, that was that also was uh, Slavish uh, uh, Esperanto con called Slavia, so we can maybe use that platform. Uh, Tirana, Design Week, expectations, uh, you said that this is a, uh, a call for all of us uh, to par participate. Um, I would say this, after hearing all the discussions and presentations, um, design after all um, should be and is a humble um, thing, which means that uh, you create um, sectors, spaces, um, contributions and also opportunities to to widen um, the the target target group let's say so this means that um, with design naming naming it uh, humble um, it should not focus only the um, aesthetics or uh, theoretical parts of it but also functionality, which means that with the example of elevator that you presented, um, should be aiming for a more general public. And when I say general public, um, I remember you saying that I couldn't see. Maybe it should be a design uh, which aims all of us, disabled or not disabled, um, we are all beca becoming disabled. So yeah, at a certain really point we will, <laughs> as, uh, as it is foreseen. So, um, yeah, my, my main um, call for Tirana, Tirana Design Week um, new theme and also um, design overall is that um, should be more um, personified, let's say. So we should have like a real and um, yeah, a real target group that aims to. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, uh, I really like uh, Boros. Is it working? Opa. I really like uh, those emphasis uh, uh, emphasis on your uh, uh, working definition of design, and I put down the three uh, words. So you had uh, process, spajanje, produkt. Yeah. Realizacija. Realizacija, okay. Uh, so uh, process, co uh, connecting and uh, realization or product. So I would say maybe design is the product of a process of connecting uh, everybody and uh, Really, uh, the biggest uh, threat is that design will uh, become uh, another elite, which is not co uh, corresponding to uh, the world of life. So, uh, ghettoization, elitism in design, uh, uh, not communicating, that's what you uh, also uh, said, uh, uh, communicating in a, a kind of a style and not trying to understand the universal uh, languages of uh, the whole humanity. It's a human-centered discipline. That's only uh, uh, what matters. A human as a singular and human as a plural.
Uh, shall we end or? Yeah. Okay, thank you.